All right guys, welcome back. So today I will be working solo, but I'm gonna be working on some of this roof, prepping it for the sheathing. Um, we're gonna be doing sheathing instead of purlins. But I just wanna kinda of take you along today, um, show you how I'm gonna be doing it and how I'm gonna be doing it solo as much as possible. Hopefully it doesn't look like too much of a struggle, but we'll see how it is. But uh, anyways, that's what we're gonna get into today. Um, now I do already have the trusses set and they're up but um, just couldn't film that. I was working in the trusses, didn't have somebody extra to be doing it, and it's too chaotic with all the help. And so anyways, I'm gonna dive right on in and show you how I'm gonna do the rest of this roof framing. Okay, so these trusses are two foot on centers. They got, they're a scissor truss, which means they're vaulted. They are two by six. Um, the engineer said I had to do them two foot on center or Four, double four foot on center so we just chose to go um, two foot on centers which will help them because they're going to do some finish later so already got these these lateral horizontal stiff uh, stiffeners bracing called for like eight which is like a lot of them but uh, I still got to do all the end wall stuff like I've got to put lookouts out here for support for my soffit I'll kind of show you what I mean in a little bit um, I gotta cut all the truss tails for soffit up here. See them all hanging just out wild. I gotta go ahead and cut all those. And I gotta put up my uh, subfascia here and here. And then uh, prep for sheathing. So, so yeah, let's dive right on into it. Okay, so I went ahead and got all my line snapped, you can kind of see. So now I can go ahead and I actually already did this, but let's see here. So I know that this is my angle right here. So I went ahead and got my little just pivot tool or whatever, and not really an angle finder, but kind of like a compass in a way. Tighten that down, so that's my angle. So now I just gotta go on each mark. Hold that right to the line, like this. And then mark it, boom. Come here, do the same. Line it up, mark it, boom. So on and so forth. So that's what I'm gonna go ahead and do now. And uh, yeah, yes. Boom. 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 Boom.
Okay, so I left these wild hanging out long. I'll cut these later. That's kind of how I did it solo. I got to finish, nail them in, but sometimes I tack up a few of them, then come side it, see if it's up or down. But anyways, that's how I'm doing it. I'm going to go ahead and finish it, move on. Okay, so the way this truss was made, it was not dropped down for lookouts, but I want to put some support for a large soffit. So I went ahead and notched out for a two by four flat lookouts. And now what I'm going to do is just go ahead and they're going to sit on top here. They're going to go back into that truss. I'm going to nail them into there. I'm going to straighten this truss, nail them down. And then that I'll have my support for my fascia that hangs out here. And I also made them four foot on center so that when the sheets break on the sheathing, it lands right on top. Okay, so I went ahead and got the rest of these nails. I'm just gonna kind of show you. So what that allowed me to do is to straighten this and then attach them down. And then I can snap a line and cut this for my fascia. Uh, the only issue I'm having is this truss is also wonky like this. So I'm gonna have to start sheeting um, and come back and straighten, and straighten this one before I can straighten that one. So anyways, but that's a good way if you don't have a way to do support with your truss or raft or something, you can always notch them in like this. Um, and since it's on an end wall, it's fine. If it's in the middle, it'd be a little bit different because you're losing support. But since it's right there, supported all the way through anyways, and this is a beefed up truss, it's fine. Okay, so these are my lookouts. This truss is really wonky in and out. So what I ended up doing is went ahead and started running my sheathing to hold that one because that one was also, I think it's just the way the trusses are built that, that on this web it goes way out and in. So I tried to straighten that one. So now I know this will hold. I snapped a line from top to bottom down here on these lookouts, you can see it. And I'm gonna pull this truss in and out as much as I can and nail through these lookouts that are attached to that, that truss right there. So that should hold when I go ahead and nail it. And then after I get that, I can measure over and snap a line from my fascia and keep it really nice and straight because I really want my fascia straight. Okay, so now I got these all cut. Now I can simply just add my sub fascia.
you, Mr. Schmidt. What? How you doing? Very good. What's that? Okay, so I'm going to show you. So right now I just went ahead and left it wild. As I work on this side, I'll go ahead and cut this. But uh, this is, you know, you can kind of see straight up and down. You can see it. Came out really nice. Made sure I landed these on my seams. Um, so when it comes to my soffit, just help keep this from, see it twists a little bit on the bottom. Not a too much, but a little bit. I'm going to take, since this is dimension 2x6, two 2x6 two blocks from here on the side of here, nail them into here. And then that'll make this really stout, strong, give me something to fasten my soffit underneath. So anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and finish the sheathing. Um, we'll see if I get snowed on. It looks like I'm gonna get snowed on. Okay guys, so I pretty much got this roof about wrapped up, all uh, sheeted, got all the framing done. So uh, I did. I was gonna mention, I left a slot here down here, cause I'm gonna be doing ridge vet in case anybody was wondering, so. But yeah, got this done and uh, 
So when I come back, I'll be working on something else on this building. So thanks for following along with this uh, past couple days. And until next time, guys, Josh out.